All right. Hello, YouTube. Back again for another go. Um, welcome, everybody. We're going to go with um, another round of a sale for iStencils.com. Get them while they're hot. Um, I'm going to give my chatters a minute to pop in here online. And meanwhile, I'll go over the parameters of the sale. So everybody has an idea of what's going on here. Um, iStencils.com is having another sale. And I don't know how many of you buy stencils or, um, you know, work with stencils. But iStencils is the largest stencil site that I've ever seen. They have 4,000 designs or more by now. Um, and this sale is 25% off the entire site. I'm featuring Robin McClendon's new designs. That's what the sale is uh, sponsoring or honoring. Um, and her new designs are her hearth code designs for any of you that follow Robin. Um, very kind of earthy tribal designs. Um, really cool. You have to check it out. But anyway, uh, with a free... Sorry, I'm doing too many things in my head at once. <laughs> um, the code for the sale is July 25, 25% off the whole site. You get this stencil, which is a free one for orders that are over $50 after the coupon is applied. Um, the sale goes through Monday, the 26th of July, 2021. If you're watching this three years from now <laughs> and, uh, the shipping for domestic shipping in the United States is free for the $50 orders. Unfortunately, she's had to raise her prices to not lose money every time she ships international due to the post-COVID shipping issues. So her international shipping is now $19.30. Canada stays at $11.99. A um, bunch of new designs from Robin. Again, this is the sale is for the whole entire site. Um, Lots to look at. So I've been working on, hey, Tori, how are you? I've been working on a project that I've made from stenciling these new designs on some of her printables, some of her Robin, oops, there's my alarm. Stop. Um, Robin McClendon also has a teachable site and she features um, groups of her printables Every month, I think there's a year and a half worth of them out there now. They're $6 per grouping. This past um, grouping is um, 16 pages. Uh, but they, they're each month to month, you can use them interchangeably because of her style and her color palette. Really cool. But I've taken some of those papers, torn them up, and I've, I've uh, glued them to a... Um, I can't turn it over because all these tiles are loose. I've glued it to a cradled board and I'm making a project for our remodeled bathroom. Um, and I had some leftover glass tiles from that project. So I'm trying to incorporate those, some of my polymer clay tiles. I'm going to move this out of the way so I can show you the stencils. But here's where that is right now is what I'm thinking. These aren't glued down. But we'll see how that goes. I could change my mind any minute. Actually, I did have another idea, and I'm going to wait to see if some of the some of the ladies that were on yesterday with me while I was working through some ideas for that pop in here, and I'll show them a couple a couple things over here. But let me give you an idea of the new stencil designs from Robin. Um, oops, put a black piece of paper out here so you can see them. This is wet with modeling paste. Let me get that out of the way. <clears throat> she has three by fives, six by six, and eight by tens in this release. Um, and these are the hearth code designs. This, these are the three by fives. This one is called sound. This one is called water. This one is string of pearls. And these are all very... Um, they're very meaningful. If you've taken the class with Robin or you, you want to take the class, you need to check out the Hearth Codes class. It's really interesting um, where some of these symbols have been around since the beginning of time, pretty much, and still relevant 
uh, today. Not, not specifically these, but a lot of the ones that we'll come across here. This one's called Solar. This one is Crown. Four Directions. And this cross symbol and these rustic circles, you'll see a lot in the Hearth Codes uh, class and, and uh, information. This one's called Stairway. This one is called Path. Can't see that very well because I got black paint on. I'll put that one over there. And then let's move to the, is that all the three by three fives? I've got them kind of mixed up here from using them. So now the, the six by sixes, this one's called Shooting Star. Some of these I haven't even used that. We need to, I need to change that up. I think I'm going to make some more of these papers to show these stencils a little bit more than my project. This one's called Stellar. This one is called Waves. This one is Solar, the larger version of the Solar. This one is Spiral. Being. This is Codex. This is the freebie. It's called Light. I think this is my favorite. I used it several times. And we're going to use it again. Um. I must have two of those because I know I use that one a lot. And that doesn't have any paint on it. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Eclipse. This one is called Key. It's kind of like a Greek key design and then skewed a little bit. <clears throat> Another version of Four Directions. Always with that the cross. Kind of north, south, east, west-ish thing. Um... This one is Labyrinth. Turn that one over because I used it with black paint. This is a larger version of Crown. And then we have some 8x10s. This one is called Roamings. This one is called Earth. And it's smaller uh, bits of a lot of these other designs. You can see light here, waves, path. String of Pearls, Stairway, uh, Being down here, and other little crosshatch marks. You can use that for little tiny bits or an all over, kind of pop a black over top of a busy design. And this is a larger labyrinth, I believe. Yes. So there you have it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, first off, is I've been using silver paint a lot when I was doing these because of my project that I needed to I wanted to use these with um, for that color palette. But I'm going to switch up and I'm going to pull out her July printables that I have left that I haven't used and torn up so far. Of course, I can print more. That's the beauty of the printables, right? You can use them forever. And... There's one of them that I printed the, that last 8x10 on. This one has the roamings printed on it, but I used a paint that's a lot more sheer. I'm going to try to go over that and line up that same, same stencil and, and uh, see if I can reprint that. So here are more of those, the printables from July. And you can go to Robin's, hey, Peg. You can go to Robin's um, Teachable site on teachables.com. And look for Robin McClendon. It's Robin with a Y, McClendon, M-C-C-L-E-N-D-O-N. And you'll find all kind of good stuff there. Um, bronze, looking for my paint. And I think instead of, I might jelly print some of the larger ones. Where's my plate? Here we go. Let's see. Let me use these three big ones here first. And here's one of my experiments. 
when some of the ladies get on that were with me yesterday, I'll show them how that turned out. We were talking about putting that over the, the board that I was doing. Um, oh, here's my brayer. I'm all discombobulated. Get this out of the way. So I can brayer off on here. Put the papers over there. Sheesh. Now I'm situated. Every time I come down early to get set up, I think I'm worse off. <laughs> oh, Hello. There we go. I have a new bottle of this somewhere. But there's plenty in here. This goes a long way. So gonna, this is the Golden's um, Iridescent Bronze. It's a really cool color. It's not so yellow like gold. Um, it's bronze. <laughs> I don't know what's on my plate, but the paint is beating up. I'm going to have to wash my plate one of these days. Let's just drop this one down here. These are the 8x10, so they fit right on the 8x10 plate. And let's do that in the middle of this one. Hey, Glenda. We must have a lot of lurkers that aren't in chat yet because I see a lot more people online that join than are in chat. So don't be shy. bronze color really goes well with her um, with Robin's palette when she uses the coffee stain, tea stain papers. Looks really good. So let me take another piece of deli from the other day. Just make a little sandwich there and clean off the stencil so it's not wet. And clean off some of the jelly plate. And this Romy's, I really like this one. I say that every time I use one, but I do. Her her um, her style just really speaks to me. Hey, Kiki. Hey, feel free to shop. <laughs> I just like to invite people. Some people that are new are kind of shy about joining the chat, and I try to encourage everybody just to jump in, ask questions, whatever. If you want to see a certain design, Kiki, or anybody, let me know, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's printed. I'll run through a few of these, and then I'll go back to trying to figure out what I'm going to do on my project. Let's do this one. This is the 8x10 called Roamings. This really, for those who do collect stencils, this really is, you, I don't think I ever see another stencil company do a 25% off their entire site. Unlimited. Um, with a free stencil, with free shipping in the United States for orders over 50. Um, that's, that's the time when to stock up. And Joan Smithies, you guys probably know Joan. Um, she is... Uh, She's got so many new designs coming out that we're going to do a separate launch for her. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe early fall. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Love that. These metallics dry fast. And this probably won't be anything coming off of that stencil. Very little coming off of that stencil. Um, let's switch up here. Um, I'm going to do some of these smaller ones. But instead of using a jelly plate, I'm going to pounce through. 
uh, the stencil with a sponge. I thought I had a couple. Oh, we do. Here they are. I do. I do. A couple. Get out of there. Makeup sponges. And we'll just go through these and make a bunch of, make another bunch of papers. It'll go with this color palette for a project coming up. Um, let's see. Here's the three by fives. These are two of my favorites. I love sound and water. Get a little dollop of paint here on my paper palette. Get some paint on and then dab most of it off. You don't want it, when you're doing this, if you've never done it before, you don't want a real wet sponge because it will run under um, the design. It'll run under um, the stencil and blur the design. You won't get a crisp imprint. I'm going to go with this right on this light white spot here because I can. I mean, how cute is that? These just really speak to me. I love that. I call it tribal. That might not be the right word, but that's what my brain calls it. Um, let's just put this one up here for no good reason. I know, right, Peg? Who does that? Who collects art supplies? What crazy person would do such a thing? I don't know anybody that would do that. So let's try... Um, I wonder which one I could use for that that would show a good example. Oh, you know what? Let me use the, um, the freebie light. I don't know where the one is I used. I got two of these from Sherry. I don't know, but what we're going to do, I like to do this, and you guys have probably seen me do this before, but it's a really cool effect if you haven't done this with any of your stencils. Um, do I have another one? Yes, I do. What do you know? I'm going to do this design in black, and this black paint is real runny. So you really want to dab off the excess of there. And when you get this loaded upright, it really does go a long way. All right. So here's this design in black. All right. And I'm going to put that on the side. And I'm going to do a very fancy drawing. Hey, Willina. Very fancy drawing bit here. Um, hang on one second. I forgot. I usually send Joan a message that I'm streaming. And I forgot to. <laughs> and I'm streaming earlier because so the people over the pond can get a get a turn at seeing this stuff. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and line this up. Exactly where I pounced it. All right, so that's lined up perfectly. Then I'm going to kind of drop shadow it and pull it diagonal down just a little bit. And now I'm going to go with the bronze. And this ends up giving it kind of a 3D look. with the shadow behind it. And you can do it the opposite way. 
you can do, well, I'll do one of these with the bronze down first. And then let's see, let's do this one over here. So I'll line this one back up where the bronze was pounced. Flip it over the right way. I'll be able to do that a lot easier. <laughs> so I wonder why that wasn't lining up. Okay, so there's that one. And this time I'm going to drop it to the right down diagonally a little bit and go with the black. See how that looks like kind of a highlight behind it where this looks like a shadow behind it, right? Can't hate that, people. All right, let's put that one over in the pile and grab another page. Let's see what we got here. Something... These two pages on the printables were um, close-ups of parts of Robin's um, scroll that she made as she demoed the Hearth Codes class. Um, I remembered them as soon as I saw them. I knew that's what it was. She was on our chat yesterday. No, Friday. What's today? Saturday, Friday, Thursday. <laughs> One of these days in the evening. And I asked her if this was that green if you've ever watched her, you see her use the green colors, kind of a sagey olive pale color. It's a painter's masking paper on a roll that's about a foot wide. And she uses that to make her scrolls. And I, as soon as I saw that, I thought, I know that's that paper. And I remember these close-ups. And I remember she made this mark dipping a square ink bottle into paint and stamping it. Um really cool class if you guys haven't taken it or are interested in that kind of thing. It's awesome. Okay, let's let's see what I got here. I want to print some of these six by sixes that I haven't printed yet. There's a lot of them. So I did the crown. Actually, I did it on a piece that I ended up not using in my project because I love this piece with the rusted... Um, washer there and the coffee stained papers but when I show you my project you'll see I'm trying to use blacks grays whites and like a washed out palest indigo that you can imagine and just speckles here and there so it matches in the bathroom but there's the six inch crown that was printed on that piece of paper that I decided I didn't use in that project but that's this one um and I printed labyrinth there's one of those here you can see that one printed. That's the six by six. Um, let's do a couple of these that aren't painted up yet. <laughs> I'm going to go like this to try to cover some of this area. I'm going to use the bronze. Need more paint. There's that one. Hey, Joan! <laughs> Better late than never, huh? Sorry, I just I just realized I thought, oh, geez. I just told these guys, I said, I didn't ping Joan. I always try to ping her. <laughs> and this one is Greek, uh, not Greek key. It looks like it's called key. And it is, um, it kind of looks... To me like a skewed Greek key design.
Let's try this over here. I just wanted to put an extra layer on these printables. I think it makes them a little more um, custom to, you know, more like your hand on Robin's printables. Plus, it's an extra layer. How bad can that be? Especially when it's shiny. Ooh, that looks good on that dark. All right, so just want to give everybody an idea what these look like printed. Um, some of the people who have come in now, I see there's a lot more. Oh, you just got back from town. Oh, good timing. Um, I want to show this to every. I don't want anybody to miss this sale. So if you want to buy stencils, not for. I don't. Don't buy them if you can't buy them. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to take advantage of the sale if you can and you do collect stencils. Um, iStencils.com. Uh, this sale is kind of featuring Robin McClendon's new hearth code designs, but the sale for 25% off is for the entire site, which is about 4,000 designs, different styles, different motifs, different sizes, crazy how many stencils are out there. I would suggest when you guys shop there, if you see something that you like, put it in your cart. You can always go back and take it out. But if you get into the other menus past like my stencils or Joan stencils or Robin stencils and you get into the other brands and designers, you can get lost in there and you think, oh, man, I wish I could find that stencil I was looking at. Trust me. <laughs> I've done that for years. Throw it in your cart. You can always take it out. It'll save you heartache and heartburn trying to find it again. Uh, but when you hit $50 in your cart. Um, the free stencil, which is this six by six called light will automatically be added to your cart. Now that's a little upgrade she did on her site that when you hit the, when you hit the, um, the amount, this will be added to your cart. You don't have to worry about finding it and adding it or anything. It's all done automatically. Um, in the U S if you get a $50 order or more, you get free shipping in the United States, Canada shipping is still $11.99. But in order to keep up with current prices and not lose money every time she ships international, Sherry had to raise the international shipping to 1930. Um, the post COVID shipping, everybody knows what that's like. And um, it's crazy now shipping international, but that's the actual cost. And um, so that I wanted to pass that information along. So you were aware and there you go. So let me, carry on with marking up some more of these papers. This one might be a good one too. Where's that other big one with all the small marks on it? This one. I'm just going to pounce this whole thing through here so you can see what these look like in a smaller size. Let's do that. Let's try it in bronze. This reminds me of what I always called a Papa Black stencil when I was jelly printing like a fool all the time. And uh, I'd get several layers on a print and it looked like crazy busy. But if you throw something like this on the top and it pushes all that other craziness into the background, um, It's, it saves the print. <laughs> or if it's a really dark print, you know, do a pop of silver or white or even this kind of color in a metallic. And I'll do something similar. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, thanks, Joan. They look cool just all together in a group like that over a kind of a stark um, 
design with the big black blobs and just the green and white in the background. Can't hate it. I'm telling you, you just can't hate it. This one, I think is a close up of a canvas or some kind of linen paper with black and gold. Um, just kind of little marks on it. So let me see. I think we might want to put black on here. Let me find one. Eclipse. Let's do Eclipse and Solar. Solar Eclipse. Uh, okay. Let's try this bad boy. Oops. Got black paint everywhere. Oh, Joan, I came up with some more ideas about that. Uh, oh, you weren't on yes, last night. Um, the board I talked about making for my bathroom last night, I collaged all the papers on it and uh, was playing with placement of the glass tiles and my polymer clay tiles. Ooh, that's cool. That almost looks like a mask like a tribal mask. We may overlay bronze on that. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. Let's do this one down here. A little more black. This has got really big paint boogers on this lid here. Clean that up a little bit. It's really nice here today. Yesterday was nice. Last night it was down into the 60s. Although we weren't out there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was was able to sit out on the deck and have my coffee this morning and not suffocate. So that was that was refreshing. <laughs> All right. I think I am going to overlay these. And maybe instead of bronze, maybe I'll get out gold and use the gold because there's gold in the background there. Do I have gold? Did I want? Oh, you know what? I think that. Oh, Lord, I sat too long. I say that every time I get up. <laughs> um, hang on. I have a little bag here packed with some stuff in it. I went over a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago now, and helped one of my friends. Oh, it's right in front of me. Oh, for the Lord's sake. Uh, get some decorations done for... Um... Hey there, mess. Welcome. Welcome to the mess. Um, for her first grandchild's baby shower, I went over and helped her get some uh, things made. We took some mason jars and I dripped gold um, the uh, Jacquard brand uh, alcohol ink around the mason jars and we put sand and candles in them. Actually, they look pretty cool. Um, and I had a bag packed up of different stuff I took over there and that's where I had all my gold stuff because that was one of the accent colors she was using. Okay, so this one I'm going to this will be a drop shadow. So I'm going to come down diagonal. Might have been a little bit too much. Let me do that again. Get it exactly where it was. And then drop it a little bit down, diagonal, one way or the other. You can actually do it. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's do it up. Diagonal. Like that. Ooh. Oops. That's okay. I'm going to pounce it anyway. Um... So you can do a drop shadow or 
you know, whatever those other names of drop shadows are that aren't drop, they're actually the opposite way. Um, just depending on which way you drag the stencil off the original image. Oh, that was an open hole and I didn't tap it all in there. Hang on, let me just do that. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty cool, actually. Let's do this one. Oh, this will be interesting to line this one up again. So I'm looking with this big gap in here. Is that this one? Or is that? Oh, maybe it's, no, it's this way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nope. I'm just going to have to twirl this to figure out where the heck it goes. This one's tricky. Well, hello. This must be down here because it's a small. There we go. Ha! Oop, thought I was losing it. Well, I often think I'm losing it, and sometimes I'm right, unfortunately. So this one, let's drop this one. Uh, let's go up and to the left for this one. Let's try this. Sorry, when I'm doing this, I'm not looking at the chat, but I'll be back to check it out in a minute. That looks pretty cool on that background, actually. Love that one. Dorothy, how's the internet today? I know, Dot. It's crazy. And But if she doesn't charge that, she loses money every time she ships them to, the, to anywhere internationally, except for Canada. It's nuts. Trust me, she hates it as much as we do because she knows we have some big collectors across the pond. But it, it's, it's crazy. I was looking for one specific one. Here's one with some light on it. These I pulled out from other another month. I think these were October. Oh, here's these are the two I want to reprint on. Okay. okay I knew it. It's in there somewhere. Does anybody want to see a particular stencil used or um use a certain way with a certain color or anything, just let me know. Let me know. I'm happy to do it. And you know what I'm going to do? This one I used with a paint that I don't know if it settled or didn't mix up as much. And you can see just that little sheen where usually it would be a really bright silver. But that's on there. And that's the Roaming's stencil. And I'm going to try to line this up again. And I'm going to drop that with some black, I think. Black? Or do I want to just put the real silver on there? I might do that with the, the real silver, which is the golden's iridescent silver. That four sponge is going here now. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. But don't be fooled by that. Okay, so let's do this. Let me line this up. This I actually jelly printed, so it's even a lighter sheen. And let's drop it down like that. And let's just do this silver on it. Because this one was a good color for projects that I was going to use in the bedroom and bathroom that we redid. 
with this gray black silver kind of a deal And I like how the silver on the white is subtle, but as you move, you know, when it's hanging on the wall and you move around, you can catch, it catches the light differently and you see that little flash of shimmer. Mama like that. More silver. Of course you do, Dot. Like the, le the less shiny one. Everybody likes what they like. That's all right. I know how you love it when I use my black and white paper. <laughs> when I'm doing a collage. All right, let's see what we got here now. That may not have been enough contrast to make it look like these drop shadow images do. Um, and it may just, yeah, that, didn't, that doesn't look so good. Um, just because it's too similar. It just looks like it's kind of blurred. But that's okay. Torn up, nobody's going to know the difference. Um This one has the big labyrinth stamped on it in silver. But I'm going to drop a couple more of these. Let's see. I haven't printed this one yet. I'm just going to overprint this with black. Because this is a real busy background. So this stark pop of black in here should really show up pretty good, I think. In my head it does. We'll see. Sometimes in my head, and what's on the paper are two very different things. Oh, that's good. That one is called... Shooting star. I'm going to put one down here just because I can. Let's use this little codex. This one's kind of cool. It's like two symbols. And I'm just going to print them both down here on the edge. Now that's almost too dark down there, dark on dark. You can't see that one that well. The bottom image as you can the top image. But that's okay. Alrighty. Now we got another stack of papers made here. I really like that one. I wasn't, this wasn't my favorite brown, but that looks perfect with that on top of there. Love it. Hey, Robin. I'm just playing with more of your papers and double printing some of your images on your printables. Look at that one with the drop shadows on that background that was real plain. Um, and I used gold and black on there. And here's the earth, all the little sim symbols, just showing everybody the size and how that prints on that stencil on that one. Some bronze stuff on these printables, some double prints on there. And this again is the, is the freebie guys that um, that you get with a $50 order after the coupon is applied. And this is roamings and the labyrinth again. So that's what we got going there. Um, 
So I want to show you the uh, the board that I'm working on where I collaged the papers we made Thursday night. I'll try to get all these stacked up here. Got stencil everywhere. I can't decide. <laughs> I know that's a shocker. I can't decide um, how I want to finish this off. Um, Robin, I was telling everybody about the Hearth Codes class. So if you have any questions for Robin, you can grab the, grab the artist right here with a question while she's in chat. And thank you for joining again. I know you're busy. Busy, busy lady. Um, that one's done. That one's done. I'll try to save this gold. All right. Okay. Whoops. Walking disaster. All right. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to bring back that board. And everything's laying loose on here. The papers are glued down. That just, just almost fits in the, in the screen. <laughs> and that's as high as I can get my camera. Uh, yeah, just like the old days. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun and when we got to come out to Arizona. So here, here's what I have. I mean, but I think I'm going to change this. It's I think it still needs some white space. So I have these glass tiles that were left over from our remodel of our bathroom. This was the tile that was put in the niche in the shower. And these are some of my old polymer clay tiles. Let me see if I can get this up higher. Some of you guys will recognize some of those, but they're all in the same kind of palette, black, white, silver. You can see all the stencils I was just showing you guys. And then here's some glass tiles down the bottom. Now I don't know that I'm going to leave it here like this. And I have a picture of it laid like this so I can put it back together like that if I want to. But I was trying to block out some of the background, which I hate to cover because I like all those papers and that's the reason I put them there. <laughs> so here's what the background looks like right now. So these are the printables from Robin, uh, some from this past month and some are from a previous month and a couple are from the scripting class that we got downloadables for that. So it's a mix mash. I was picking through to find the colors and I was trying to stay away from the coffee stain as much as I love that. Um, I showed you that one image earlier that I wanted to have kind of in the middle of here, but it just, it, it doesn't, it wouldn't go with the bathroom. So I had to put that one on the side for future use. And um, so that's, that's where I am. And I thought, it needed a little break of white space. So then yesterday on the stream, the ladies and I were talking about maybe taking some crackle paste and maybe, you know, having it come up one side and taper off and maybe come down here and taper off. But I don't want to cover, like, this is my favorite image, I think, and this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> so I, I thought I would go you know, maybe from these corners a little bit. But CB suggested trying it on a piece of paper before I committed, which I did. And so I put it on a piece. Of, and this is just printer paper, inkjet printer paper, uh, where I printed the 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 uh, Robin's papers. And this one I had also stenciled on. But I put crackle paste on the corners of this. And as I figured, the ink from the toner would do crazy stuff. And look at this pink coming through here. And of course it rolled the paper all up. Now with these glued down hard, I don't know that it would wrinkle it like that, but I don't want that color to come through. CB, you're back. Here's your experiment. 
it did it did bleed through the crackle paste and but it came through pink if it came through any of these colors i would take it but i don't want pink in there so the crackle paste kind of went by the wayside so then i thought maybe i'll just use modeling paste and give it a little bit of texture so i was thinking maybe i could put imprint my pictograph stamps in the modeling paste and then I thought that's going to be a sloppy deal. And then I thought maybe I just smear, I smeared it on a piece of watercolor paper just to play with it. And then I thought I would just drag a, I have a the skinny paintbrush here and I took the end of it, the, the wooden handle end, and I just drug through like kind of scripting through it to give it some texture. And, um, so then I was thinking about maybe doing that and blocking out, you know, I don't want to lose these, these washer rusted gray down here. I love that. Um, I don't know if I was going to do that or not, to be honest. So I'm still thinking about that. And then I thought maybe with the tiles and CB, I just dumped the tiles off here. <laughs> I had the glass tiles down here kind of coming up and tapering off. And I had the polymer clay tiles in the middle here coming down and tapering off. Um, I want to use the stencils and maybe use embossing powders and neutrals. That's true. I know. I hate to. <laughs> I chose each one of these images very carefully. And I hate to cover them up. Although it is busy. But let me show you. See if you can see the picture on my phone that I took. So I remember had these the orientation of these tiles i don't know if you'll be able to see it or not it's kind of hard to see um this is at an angle kind of looking at this way up the piece but you can see the glass tiles at the bottom and they cover up some of the stuff obviously and are nice and shiny and then up here i have kind of trickling down some of the other tiles that cover up some of the stuff so you really only see like a lot of this stuff clear like an like an x of it almost where the tiles will come up this way and come down this way you liked how the tiles were on there robin is that what you're saying? But I've done it on printer stuff. CB, I rolled out a thin and used the brayer to put it on. Not had any bleed so far. Oh, that's not a sealing with gel medium. That's not a bad idea either. Because this is going to be in a humid bathroom. So let's think about that. Um... And this is just printer paper with acrylic paint glued down with yes paste on a wooden board. So maybe I do need to seal it first. Let me, let me do this. Let me take this crackle piece. This is the same paper. And let me just find my gel medium. Matte medium. Here we go. Um, Clear gesso. I don't like that clear gesso. It's too, it feels too gritty to me. I don't like the sheen on it. Let me just use this. And let's paint a thin coat. Um, over this paper. Oh yeah, I'm not, I haven't tried resin yet and I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to mess. Well, I know I'm not going to mess with it on this one. I just, I don't have the time or the patience and I don't want to, my first project on something I really like to go bad. <laughs> I need to have a, I need to have a, um, okay, Robin, thank you. Love you too, babe. Take care. Um, I, I don't want to have it, um, a project I really like and flub it. 
I don't mind flubbing it, but I'll flub it on something flubbable. <laughs> Let's just see what this looks like. I'm just going to get a real thin coat on here. And I'm just going down on the paper and the acrylic paint and the toner. Of course, it's making that all pucker up. So we'll set that aside and see what happens there. But CB, I don't know if you saw me. So I took, um, hey, Allie, I took um, some modeling paste and just put it on a piece of watercolor paper and then took the end of a brush and kind of like put some scripting marks through it just to give it some texture. Um, I got to get a jar of water. I cleaned out those jars last night. And I didn't bring them back over here. Chat amongst yourselves. I'll be back in 20 seconds. Okay, get that brush and some water. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of white on white, but it would give me the ability to um. unbusy some of the background so i'm going to take too much stuff going on here hang on one second i need to find my um what's it called cutting mat and one of my um Laser knives, what do I want to call it? Exacto knife. I'll come up with it sooner or later. And just I had a couple little bits here overlaying. I'm going to trim those off. Down here a bit. I always have the hardest time doing this, and I don't know why. Crap. No, well, I gotta hold this a different way. Or not. Some of these have some glue on it, and they're it's not just the paper hanging over there. It's the paper with glue on it. Bye, Peg. Thanks for dropping in. This is a brand new blade, actually. I've never used this knife. It's my inability to use a knife like that, I guess. Here's a piece up here that was sticking out. There we go. I think that's got it pretty good, although I ratted up this little edge here. Darn it. Now 
that will most likely be covered by tiles or molding paste or something. Okay. Good enough, as we say. It's a brand new blade, CB. I've never used that knife before. It was a virgin knife. Okay. Let me hit this with a heat gun and get this dried up so we're not literally watching paint dry. I wonder if I should just spray this with a sealer instead of painting that on there. Maybe that would be the way to go. Bye, Tori. It's good to see you in chat, hon. Take care. I think I might spray it as I'm sitting here doing this. I mean, that worked. I can see the brush strokes on some of the paper. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Maybe on the black. I think I might spray it. With Kmar varnish. Hang on. Let me locate said varnish. Before I commit. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have multiple drawers. What do you know? Non-yellowing protection for oil, acrylic, and watercolor. Fresh from the palette. Look acid-free. Always easy to rework, free from impurities. Well, I'm going to go outside and spray this right outside the back door here. It's not far. It's 10 feet away. So give me a few minutes. If you're on YouTube watching the recording, you might want to scoot ahead. And I'll be back. Dave stuck his head out the sunroom window and he said, What are you doing slamming the door, babe? I said I didn't slam it, but I guess I did. It's just a new screen door. And I guess it's a little tight on the hinges or on that spring thing. So I sprayed it and I'm going to sit this off to the side and let this dry. So it needs to dry 15 minutes and handle it after two hours. So we'll probably work on the tiles on that tomorrow. <coughs> um, what time is it? 1230. I've been on an hour. I'm going to go a few more minutes with playing with the stencils. Um, 
I'm actually going to um, grab some of these that I just did, but I'm going to overlay um, some uh, pictographs over these and mix it up. Here's the sale. If you're watching this on YouTube, pause your screen and you can get all this information. All right, sales good till Monday night, the 26th. We're in year 2021. So I always have people three or four or five years later saying the coupon's not working. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Bless your hearts. Okay, let's... Um, Where's that one with the, so if anybody wants to see this one, I need to do something with this, these two. If anybody wants to see a certain design or anything, speak now or forever hold your peace until tomorrow when I stream again. Ugh, headaches. I hate, hate headaches. I used to get migraines many moons ago. And coincidentally, they stopped very abruptly when I left my ex-husband. <laughs> That's that honest to God's truth. Not recommending anybody that has headaches get a divorce, but in my case, that's what we did. That's what I did. Okay, so I'm just going to take these little charmers. Do you want to go that way? Doesn't matter. Although it seems like that's the way. Don't ask me why. I don't know why my brain works the way it does. I really don't. So I'm going to put this on here. And I'm just going to pounce here and there. And we're going to go over it with black. That, I'm telling you. Here. <laughs> Here we go, my friend. That's after I sprayed it with Kmar varnish. You can't really see it, which is the point. But now those papers should be sealed. Actually, before I go upstairs, I'll probably hit this with another coat. And because uh, this is going to be a humid bathroom. When Dave takes a shower, it's a lot of humidity happening in there. Okay, let's. I'm going to try to. I'm going to avoid where this is black through here a little bit. And just kind of jump around. Let's try that. Oh, that was too wet. Rats. You're welcome. Um, see what I mean? And I did my own boo-boo. Because this isn't sitting flat, so I didn't really pounce it off well. But see how these schmutzed up there? Yeah, did my own, I didn't heed my own warning. <laughs> um, you know what, I wonder if, um, hmm, I'm just looking at some of my, Pencils here. Hmm. 
So our one and only Joan has her own special launch coming up in a couple months or so, I think Sherry said, um, with her new designs all by herself because she is such a machine making these designs. <laughs> this one's kind of gotten lost. So I'm going to, I'm going to come back. And I think I'm going to go with bronze over that. What's the worst that can happen? Dab it off. Don't do the same thing again. I love this one. I have to admit, some of my own designs that I've done over the years, I don't like them. <laughs> Once I get, I don't know if I get sick of looking at them or what, but I just don't ever grab them top of the list to use them. But this one has been used and abused. They keep pinging in your head. Ah, make it stop. Don't make it stop. Don't make it stop. You're lucky you have that kind of flow, Joan. I'll get like that sometimes, and then I'll hit a wall. And uh, i got to force myself to try to, you know, figure out what I want to do that's going to inspire me to get creating again. Plus, my time's really limited, and even more now. And it's going to be like that the next few months, unfortunately. But not complaining about the time, just complaining... Just saying that about the circumstance. It's not a fun thing. This will be like a pop of bronze on this one to push all the busyness in the back and pull the focus frontwards. Frontwards. Is that a word? Forward? How about forward? Let's use the one that's already invented. Ha! You'll have to get uh, Paul to start designing with you, Joan. Since we got him drugged into mixed media from coming to the retreats. <laughs> Joan, I don't know if you were on. I don't know if I mentioned it last night that I'm hoping to. Oh, look at you. I'm hoping to get back to our retreats next year. Um, hey, Nancy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, if you can't have fun, I'm not doing it. That's always been my motto. Um, so I'm hoping to do a retreat next next year, Joan, and I'm hoping that flights are released from uh, from the UK that you can fly over the pond. So, um, that looks super busy, but little strips of this mingled into a collage could be brilliant. I'm just saying, not that I'm brilliant. The paper's brilliant. <laughs> All right. Um, for those of you who just joined, I'm going to go through Robin's new designs real quick, and then I'm going to have to wrap it up. We got a busy day, and uh, I need to get in my. I need to get in the shower and get going. We got a bunch of errands to run, and. Dave had his second cataract surgery uh, this Tuesday. We need to go get him a good pair of sunglasses because his prescription ones he can't use anymore because now he can see without them. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go through these randomly, how they're stacked here. These are Robin's designs. This is um, Eclipse. These are six by sixes. And this one is um, Shooting Star. That's not going to, you're not going to see that on there because of how I put the black paint on it. Um, this one is solar. 
At the moment, it is Trump that has stopped us from flying to the U. Trump? How's Trump stopping you? <laughs> uh, here's two more. This is four directions. This is key. That one I'll put up there. That's Codex with those two smaller designs. This, oh, this one's clean. I didn't use it yet. This one is Waves. I don't think Trump can stop anybody from doing anything anymore. <laughs> Blame it on Biden. Stellar and Spiral. Yeah, but everything that Biden didn't like, he changed as soon as he got in. So this we still blame on him. Labyrinth and Beings. I know that one has to be blamed on Biden. But I do believe that the decision Trump made when he made it was the right thing to do. This is the freebie. And one of my favorites in the collection, Light. This is Crown. Let's see, I got them all mixed up here. This one, we're going three by fives. That's Sound. These are some of her. For, oh, here's Light again. There's the dirty, the dirty Light. I knew I had another one. Um. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Lost my crown. Are there eight total of the six by sixes? Is that what you're asking me? I don't know. I'll have to count them up. Crown, four directions. These are three by fives. This one is water. Oh, I got to turn that over because of the black paint. You won't be able to see it. Water. String of pearls. These are from the previous release. Robin scripting stencils. Oh, here's another three by five. See, I got them all mixed up here. That's solar. Stairway, Path, I'll put that one up here with the black paint, that's Path, previous release, <laughs> and Roamings, this is 8 by 10s Earth, all the little bits, And Labyrinth, or the 8x10 new ones. Um, let me see. Well, I had light up here twice. So let's see. There's one, two. See, there's light twice. Let's take that one out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Thirteen. How many did you see on the site? Um, are you saying they're not all showing? I'm going to pop over the site and look. Really quick. Okay. Robin. Six by six. Four, eight, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Hang on. So there's fourteen new ones, six by six. I think one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, 13. The one, the one that's the big circle when you first look at the 6 by 6 is under Robin's heading. That's one of the older ones. So the new ones are 13. And that's what I have here that I just counted out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to look under her name. And then when you go to her page, you'll see the 3 by 5 6 by 6 8 by 10 at the top. And then narrow it down by going to the 6 by 6s But then you got to remember that shows all of hers. And the very first one is that big um, uh, circle one. This one. Hang on. The first one you I saw when I opened it up was this one. And that's from the first release. So starting from there, the next 13 are these. Groovy. Are you good now? Lord, God forbid you miss one. We can't have that. <laughs> so I will be back tomorrow, guys. Probably. Uh, let's see. We have a cookout pool party we we're invited to tomorrow at three i think so i'll probably come on around 11 so i can get ready shower make my dish get the pack bags packed up to go all that good stuff and um so i'll probably come on tomorrow and then i might come on again monday night for the last day of the sale um probably would have to be around seven uh, after work. So, okay, everybody good? Thanks for hanging with me, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thank you.